Hi everybody, Sandy Bonani, welcome to my channel. I'm going to turn on later. And on this channel, say, see, cool me my reality shows. It's to Allah M Zanti. See, I'm going to see cool me my celebrities guy. Now my YouTubers. It's to Allah M Zanti. If it's your first time joining me today, because we are about to do the greatest review that you have ever heard. Okay. <laughs> if it's your first time joining me today and you really like the content on this channel, there is a subscribe button, dang and a notification bell. Do not forget to press it. Can't you if you want to support this channel financially? There is a thanks button. Lange Zanzi, there is a join button for those who want to be members and their adverts on this video. Please watch an advert or two. Can't you do not forget to like the video? It helps a lot in the growth of your channel. Okay. So today we're going to talk about Umakoti. Are you the one? I think we are like in episode six, but so much has happened uh, in this season that it feels like they have had more than just six episodes. Okay. We have very interesting characters uh, in this season. And uh, this is season two of Umakoti. Are you the one? And we have an interesting uh, character here, Uchablile. Okay. And the very first scene. Uh, in this episode six is uh Usofi Sophie is Umakoti and Uchablila is the sister in law uh Ka Sophie. Okay. Now this is what I don't understand. I do not understand why Uchablila is the one that is actually teaching uh U Sophie how to be Umakoti. Because from what I have um heard is that Uchablile actually came back from umendo so umabuye mendo in uchablile uchablile wa hamba wa yokana wa shada things didn't work out okay and there's nothing wrong with i mean if things don't work out mjolwen wako uyabuya ozekai okay but what i don't understand is why she thinks being the one that came back from umendo <laughs> i don't understand why she thinks that she is the one that will be able to teach um usofi how to be umakot okay i don't understand it okay she just seems to me like a very miserable person and that would like to see other people miserable i also am not surprised that uh it didn't work out with her mzin because i don't think that anybody can survive you know like that personality like no man would be able to stand it no in-laws would be able to stand it i am not surprised that she is back at home the only people that can actually manage to live with Uchablile is Abandubago because they do not have a choice okay they don't have a choice it's her family so in this first scene you guys by a scene you know i don't know what they call it it's it's in debele polish but i'm sure they do have a uh a debele term for it okay guys it's the first time that i saw abantube sinda outside of the house okay i grew up uh um what can I go malo meganjin where my mother grew up my 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 grandmother's house that is what we call the grandmother's house komalume okay where my mother grew up my mother's home okay uh when we were growing up so some of is in to and uh so what you do is go and search for ublongwe which is the cow poop you know and uh for amazulu or where we are from they will take ublongwe obumanzi the wet one and what i saw with them is that they looked they look for the dry one and they put it in water and then bust in the tina it will be uh obumanzi oblong okay remember uh, or let me just say that i did not cinder myself because i was very young but i've seen i want to be seen okay and i remember as a kid how i wanted to go to cinder because it used to look like so much fun okay and they wouldn't allow us to do it because now we were younger now i must actually thank them that they didn't allow me because i never got to touch the cow poop <laughs> But I remember as a child wanting so much good things sinned. Okay. So, but with us, it used to be inside the house. It, it, it was polished, you guys. And it really works, you guys. And you get used to that smell of poop because honestly, uh, growing up, you associate that smell as uh, to a, a clean house. So it wouldn't... Um, 
you wouldn't feel like it smells like poop. It would just smell like a clean house. So if you understand what I'm saying, <laughs> so it will be in the house and maybe like, a, in, in, like um, there by the door, they would just see that a small part of it, you know, like a slepanyana there in front of the house. But you will never see that at the game. You will never see that in the yard, you know. I just feel like I wonder, you guys, I kind of want somebody in the comment section section to tell me if it is a normal thing for uh amanda Bello to actually send her around the yard because i feel like are they just trying to uh abuse also if you by saying good because even when you look at it because in the way Sinda, you can see what this this area usually yes it looks a certain way it didn't look like it has ever been seen that before and then all of a sudden they want also to now put ilokuzana uh, the holy art yeah, for that matter and it, it didn't look like it's something that has been done before so i was like i wonder if it's normal for amanda Bele to do that ekregeni, or these people are just doing it so that they can just abuse usofi okay so if you and abel or oh, you have been exposed to how they do things when it comes to uh, them putting up long way uh, again labo please tell me is it normal to do it again so obviously they don't want to do it themselves they want usofi to be the one to do it like i said for them they use dry uh poop <laughs> sorry guys but it is poop okay it, it, it's dry they use the dry one and uh, they put it in water so that it's wet and then they put it again you know they're supposed to put it with their hands but also for us putting it with uh the the the, the broom okay so they're trying to get her to do it and then uh they show her how to do it and they leave her to do it i think she did like I don't know you guys just a small onion apart and she was done with it anyway if you are not used to that or even smelling that being done around you or even doing it yourself it's not gonna be a pleasant thing to do like she wanted to uh throw up and all of that i understand it because for you it's going to smell like you know poop and you're going to feel like you are touching uh poop you guys i remember also with the dry one the dry uh cow poop we used to go fetch it uh for to use it you know like when they are working in the fields and to use it as a manual or it's mean you know so that <laughs> so that uh, and all of that yes we used to yeah we used to use it as fertilizers so i remember we'll go fetch it like the dry one uh for our parents so that they could use it and i mean as fertilizers okay so when you grow up in Makai, when you grow up in the rural areas, you get used to the fact that like cow poop is not really a disgusting thing because it has so many uses. But for somebody that is not used to that, you cannot expect that they're going to be okay with touching it and using it. And, you know, and the smell of it is just not going to be pleasant for them. But they were expecting uh, Usofi to do it. Okay. Anyway, I think she's like the most patient person because everything that they make her do, she tries to do, okay? Obviously, Jablilo is the one that is standing there making sure good she does what she's supposed to do. She's like the most patient person that I've ever seen, okay? And then, uh, you guys, the other thing that happened with this particular <laughs> family is that Jablilo later on, she decides because Usofi had nails on, Okay. Uh, artificial nails and uh, she decides to go to the nails are disturbing her from doing housework so she decides that she's going to call somebody that uh can uh, take out the nails it's like a sophie you know <laughs> you guys without sophie's permission uh oh jablila calls the person nail technician to come and take out the nails it's like a, it's like a sophie okay so then the person comes obviously you have to pay the person and i guess that she was going to pay this person anyway we didn't see who who the money was supposed to come from so the guy comes yeah, obviously because he said no he doesn't have a problem he can take out the nails but that was done without sophie knowing okay this was way after he she had done oblong which i didn't understand now when the guy comes uh Uchablila calls uh, sophie tells her okay this is the guy that is going to take out your nails 
Sophie's like, my nails, why? What's wrong with my nails? It's like, no, they are pazamisa when you do housework. So I decided that you should take them off. She's like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, like any other woman would be like, I ain't doing that. I paid for these nails. I'm not going to uh, do that. I don't understand what the issue is with the nails because a lot of the people can do a lot of things with their nails on okay if it doesn't bother the person that has nails on why should it bother you when uh, when uh, you don't have the nails on okay so then uh usofi says to okay do you have 400 rand to give to me now and i think she was just saying that in a corner even if uh ujabulile had the 400 rand, i don't think that usofi would have taken uh, out the nails so she says do you have 400 rand if you can give me 400 rand then <laughs> then i'm going to take out these nails because i paid 400 rand for these nails sophie says i don't have the money but no 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 chablia says i don't have that money like then you're not gonna take off these nails if you have money to pay this guy to take off my nails then you must have money to pay me so that i don't uh, so that I can take off the nails to pay me for the money I paid for these nails. But uh, needless to say, you guys, um, pink, um, not to pink. Sophie ends up not taking off the nails. Uchablila is not happy about that. She's talking about how spoiled uh, Sophie is. I don't know why Uchablila just everything about Sophie bothers her, and she just wants to see Sophie suffers. Okay. Then at some point, so Sophie decides oh, she's had enough of the family. She goes to do her hair. She does her hair and everything. Calls her friends because they're arranging for her friends to come and visit her. One thing I wasn't aware about this show was that while they are doing the 21 days with the in-laws, they're not supposed to see their spouses. If they have kids, they're not supposed to see their kids. They're not supposed to go back home for the whole 21 days. Some of them have to ask for permission to go to work. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get why they have to make it so extreme. I mean, if you have a job, you still need to go to, to, to work, but they're making it so hard for these women to still work while they're doing the Magodi duties thing. Okay. And Rafilo is one of those people that are really struggling with work and her being able to see her kids. I just wouldn't do it if they said that you cannot see your kids while you're there, or you will have to ask for permission to see your kids. If I have to ask for permission to see my kids, I will not do that show. Okay. Anyway, you guys so she calls her friends and okay they make arrangements that they're going to come and visit her and they do end up visiting her and obviously <laughs> when the friends get there they've got the drinks they've got the champagne you know when your friends are coming you're like finally i get to relax it's a gossip with my friends and all of that when they get there uh, she updates them about Jablile and the issue of her wanting to take off the nails and all of that and then um but you guys, uh, while they are talking, Ujablile comes in the house. She is exaggerating. What is the alcohol doing there? Ini, I, is she not supposed to be umakote? And the friends were not having it, okay? Because the friends obviously are not here to beg for women, or they just don't care, okay? <laughs> Yeah, guys so and she was asking to why did they bring alcohol then they're saying no it's not the, the champagne is not alcoholic okay and which obviously was a lie but they just turned the whole thing into a joke and also ended up saying listen i just need to spend time with my friends just leave me alone for now and let me just go okay guys I don't understand like there are moments where i feel like maybe Uchablila is acting for the show but i just feel like uh if she wasn't like that why would she allow herself to be used like that by uh, the producers to make her act like that because there are moments where i feel like uh -uh, this is too much there's nobody that is like this in real life okay but and and sometimes i'm like maybe she is like this because why would she allow them to use her like that okay and also just the fact that uh because there is a time where usofi is talking to an aunt okay in the family Papi zila papa keti stambu angazi yini ngati umbila okuliwe. You know, you know when they used to take a milli meal 
Besebe yao kula. I don't know. Uh, you know kula ngesi ngisi. You know when they hit it, uh, put it in the bowl thing. And besebe yao shaya so that it becomes smaller pieces. And those smaller pieces, you can use them as simp. And then when it's like fine, fine, fine. Then kube umkako at the same time. Hey guys, I don't know the English terms of this thing. So bebe cats are the ones I stamp. You know, like, you know, removing the, 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 the damaged ones. <laughs> I'm like yo. If I know enough, go to La Payana. It doesn't look like it's a rural area. It looks like it could be like a township kind of thing. But the life that they live, La Payana, in that homestead, it's like in Pilo Samakai. And it could be that they're just doing those things because uh, Sophie is there, and they're just wanting to find a way to make her life difficult. Okay. So she's telling the aunt about uh, what uh, who, um which Ablila did when he, she called someone to take off her nails. And then the, the aunt is like, listen, she had no right to do that. You paid for your nails. And if your nails don't bother you, then you shouldn't um, worry about it. Ablila don't have no house. Okay, which is what I've been thinking. Very good. She acts like La Payana is her house. Like she makes the rules. Like Ablila has no house. There's no home. So, you know, don't even listen to her. Don't even pay her any attention excuse me don't even pay her any attention because it's not her house okay so i feel like the others can see you could see jablila is not really acting uh like she should but nobody is like that member of the family that just gets out of hand all the time but nobody is willing to actually correct them and say no anyway you guys I liked what Sophie just went ahead and got her friends to visit without the permission from uh, Uchablila and she seemed to have uh, fun with her friends. I just wouldn't be able to stay in that family as long as she has. If at the end of all of this, they still think that she doesn't deserve lower men or lower, like screw it, okay? <laughs> like just like uh, screw it, like honestly, you know? Anyway, you guys. I'm going to do this part. I'm going to leave this part here and I'm going to talk about a uh, refill in the other video and also a pink because I think those are very uh, interesting as well. But that that's it, you guys. Listen, do you guys think that Lucha really is like that in real life? Like, what do you think? What, don't you think it would be interesting for us to find out what happened? I'm trying to just so much anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this video please like it before pumegana share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in tanda kakono